Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and today I got a bit of a mixed haul for you and a little update on a few eBay items that I, I filmed recently. Um, with the update, I purchased in a video I put out last week a selection of fountain pens, early fountain pens and there was a Conway Stewart dinky set that I listed, well I filmed first of all. Now I paid £25 for a group of pens in the old video and in amongst there was a Conway Stewart pen and pencil dinky set in the case. Now when we done the research and I done the film there was a set sold for £175 on eBay so I sold, I, I put them up for sale for 200 and I actually took an offer of 125 The offer came in and bird in the hand I couldn't turn down the profit. Um, then the pen that I couldn't even pronounce um, <laughs> I listed for £100, as I said I was going to, and it's, I had two offers on it within 10 minutes, um, £70 offer and £80 offer, so I took the £80 offer, so I sold that one in less than sort of 10, 20 minutes. So I've already done £205 on the group of pens that I paid £25 on, and I've still got a couple of pens left to go. So there's an update on the pens. Now if you want to have a look at those, go and have a look at the um, video where I filmed them and just give you an idea some of the money involved in fountain pens they really are a good uh, seller guys especially if you can get these early modeled ones with the uh, 14 karat gold nibs really good buy anyway um the stock i've got today i haven't been to a car boot sale now for a couple of weeks really because my little one has been uh, unwell with a uh, tummy bug so i haven't done the no car boot sales so there's a bit of older stock from car boot sales and a bit that's been brought into the shop. So we start off with an absolute beautiful watercolour. So we have some sort of uh, sail ship or yacht. Now I think it's French, it's got Louis across the top here. It's quite a nicely painted uh, piece. And what I'm going to do, for you to have a proper look at this if anybody's interested, I'm going to put photographs at the end of the video. It's a really nice one. It's mid 19th century in my opinion, and it's very well painted. Uh, there is some remnants of a signature uh, down on the bottom corner here. Again, I'll put it in the photographs, but I need to take it out of the frame to have a proper look at it and see if I can get that signature. Excuse me. Um, now, I bought this from a dealer a little while ago in Bessemer, and it cost me £20. Obviously the price is going to depend on if I find out who the artist is. If I don't find out who the artist is, it's still going to be a £75 watercolour in the shop or on eBay. Uh, next piece was brought into my shop um, this week and we have an Art Deco vase. Now look at this beautiful step design down here and across here. Now it's, I'd say it's unmarked but there are a couple of marks on there. There's a couple of impressed marks which you can't read and there's a M121 X or K here. Now I actually think this is by Wade Heath. I may be wrong but I'm going down the lines of Wade Heath. It's pure art deco and it's a really nice example of uh, period ceramics. Now this one and this one that I'm about to show you owe me £20. I bought them privately through the shop. We have a 1950s almost jazz pattern or late art deco if you like. Um, hand painted. Um, vase by Arthur Woods. So it's probably about 1954 somewhere on by there. I just love the shape of the handles. Very sort of jazz era. And as I say, £20 for the tool. But I see this Wade Heath one, if it is Wade Heath, £45 all day long for a period art deco, 1930s or 20s even, uh, ceramic vase. And I see this woods at about 15 or 20 quid. So realistically, I should get my money back on there, and there is my profit. So they were a good little buy. Anything that's art deco period, I, I love anyway. Charity shop buy again, guys. Now, it's not the right jug, even though the jug is right for the set, it's not the right jug for this particular set. 
they sold it to me with two jugs and the bowl and the tray and I paid them $4.99 which I'll show you the price code in a minute and it actually says I show you so it's $4.99 but they're chips on small jug now what I done I threw the small jug away so I have now got a larger jug the tray and the sugar bowl in perfect condition and for a fiver for the three pieces they buy Wedgwood so there you go this by Wedgwood um, I don't think it's a huge value nobody's gonna know realistically that uh, it's the wrong jug for the set unless you're a dealer of course um, goes really well together they got a nice sugar bowl uh, sugar bowl and cream jug there and tray now for the fiver shouldn't struggle to get 20 quid for that wedgewood uh, in good condition taking it out to the camp with a broken one next one come in from Bridgend multi-story a little while back and we have a copper and brass I think it's called a bugle or horn either way um, I can't play them guys not even going to attempt to I can't do it now I looked up the cap badge and that is the German army cap badge so we got a German army cap badge on the copper and brass bugle it's really nice I don't think it's um, a new one I think somebody's just highly cleaned it and polished it I don't think it's a, you know as old as the Second World War or anything but it's not brand new either so we've got a really nice bugle now it owes me a fiver and somebody's already gone through all the fuss of cleaning it for me now that's got to be 25 to 30 pound of anybody's money for a German army bugle so I'm pleased with that for a fiver my next buy has to come down is one of the cheapest buys I've had in a very long time charity shop again so we have a oh there's me look hello you can see me filming right there so we got a little mirror all around the edge here we have butterfly butterflies and if i look on the reverse we have a little label that says handmade at Bryn melon studio bonte merineth wales so we have welsh studio pottery guys now I hadn't heard of them I looked them up just now and people are getting from as little as a fiver for a little animal up to about 20 quid for like a cat and things like that there's nothing of this nature on their mirror um, so I'm gonna be asking about 20 to 25 pound and I'll take an offer but I always buy Welsh pottery Welsh porcelain I do with a shave um, cost me 10 pence it was in the junk box the 10 pence box and I give 10 pence for that so work out the percentages 10 pence into 25 pound if I achieve 25 pound for it or 20 pound even it's a huge profit things like that don't turn up very often it's not the best item in the world but the uh, price was ridiculous I then had a collection of these guys from down in Bridgend multi-story again a little while back so I've had So we've got a selection of the Eddie Stobart delivery distribution trucks. That one's Karen, Karen, Emma. So we've got two Karens and we got an Emma. They always named the trucks. We got the Atkins Atkinson Border flatbed. And I think this one's a crane because I think I've already got one of these in my cabinet. And I've already got one of these out at £25, I think I've got another one I've got in here. Here we go, the Ed Eddie Stobart. No, it's the hydraulic excavator. Um, I think the one I got is a crane. Either way, I paid £20 for the collection from all. Um, I'm not going to go back in yet. I'm going to be asking sort of £12 each for the larger ones, maybe a bit more, maybe £14 each, 
10 for the flat bed and 20 to 25 for the excavator again so again a really really nice little profit um was that it one more piece then guys my final piece again is another charity shop buy it's not old by any means so don't get mistaken thinking it's old so we have a bronze and glass vase now you can see it looks spectacular it's a big piece if i take the cone out i'll show you just this it is actually bronze i've scratched it i've given it a good scratch and um, also if i undo it from here right so if we take that off there what i then do is i come here to the threads and if you look at the threads there the yellow metal now why does that make a difference well, I wanted to know if it was solid brass or bronze, um, or whether it was a bronze coated cheap spelter or pot metal. The fact that it's yellow metal under there tells me that it's brass or bronze and would have been a dearer or more expensive item when it was purchased originally. So we've got a bronze base, I'm not sure what the top is, I haven't given it a good scratch, it's probably just normal metal, base metal. this wouldn't have been a cheap item to begin with now up in the charity shop in by asda navadeh which isn't far from me this cost me a fiver just as a decorative fruit bowl or something like that on your table stands maybe 18 inches and again maybe 18 inches in diameter it's a good looking piece that's going to be 25 quid all day long i know it's not antique but you know what it really looks really looks nice looks wonderful on top of the unit there and i'll get five times my money no problem at all so that's about it guys um i've updated you on the pens they were brilliant um go and check out that video if i yeah, remember i'll put a link in the description to that video so you can go and take a look at the pens themselves and see what they were um i'll even put in the screenshots of the sold of the listings the sold prices and everything so you can actually see the solds um so yeah they were really really good they worked out superb to be honest with you. that was what you call a very good buying day i still got the um apostle spoon or the spoon with the bust on the top i thought i'd have had offers on that already but i haven't had any offers yet but that's where we're at on that guys and hopefully um you like some of the buys from today my favourites have to be the painting and the Art Deco bars, the Wade Heath one. The rest is for me is just a bit of work in stock. But can you imagine buying a studio pottery mirror with the label on the back for 10 pence? That's a bargain. Guys, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon for another video. Bye for now.